In this example, we're going to compare future values. Suppose that you have 12,000 to invest. Which investment years is a greater return over three years? 0.96% compounded monthly or 0.95% compounded continuously? So recall when you have a uh, time period uh, that you're going to use uh, this particular formula. And when it's compounded continuously, you're going to use this formula. Let's go ahead and begin calculating uh, our monthly, compounded monthly. Uh, so for both values, we're going to be uh, solving for A. So I'm going to go ahead and start with P here. The initial amount is our $12,000 we're investing. R, our rate is going to be 0.96%. Move that over two decimal places to the left, and you have 0 0.0096. Uh, N is going to be, let's see, compounded monthly. That's going to be 12. Uh, N up here, again, raised to the N is 12. Times T is the time, and our time is three years. So that'll be 12 times 3 outside. And now we're going to get our calculator and um, go ahead and calculate the accumulative value. So that's going to be 12,000, parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.0096, divided by 12, close parentheses, raised to the 36th power, and press Enter. And this is the final value. Now let's look at uh, continuously, compounded continuously. In terms of our values, we have the 12,000. Remember, for the initial amount, our rate is going to be a little different uh, because compounded continuously says to use 0.95%. So over here, when we write it as a decimal, it's going to be 0 0.0095. Our time is three years. We're going to take our calculator and enter 12,000, then press the E key, raise that to the 0 0.0095 times 3, press Enter. And here we have our value. So as you can see, the 0.96 compounded monthly yields a greater return.